so this is this is my little bag that I I wear I keep my seeds in them that I'm gonna drop for that day so yeah y'all at the bottom you probably can't see <laughs> at the bottom of here let me just grab a few <laughs> it's got a lot of it's nothing down here just it's full just full of seeds <laughs> just seeds <sighs> I have all kinds of seeds in here rutabagas uh, kohlrabis what else I have in here more rutabagas oh boy what is this <laughs> oh what is that? A broccoli romanesco. Just a lot of seeds. It's just a lot of seeds down here. Leeks. So, what I did was I seen someone here on YouTube. They didn't have a, an apron or a little bag like I have. But what they did have was a bag that they had their seeds in, you know. And they had seeds <laughs> all in the bottom of this bag, right? So, what he did was he cleaned a little bed in his garden. And he just dropped all those seeds in one little bed. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to do that. And uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> It's just crazy. That is the lemon plant. Yep, that's the lemon plant. The little lemon tree. There is the avocado plant right there. That's her right there. So I just put in a little bed right there. She's in the ground. It's very high over here, so don't flood over here. No. <laughs> And there's the other turmeric plant. This is uh, the one that we did. Let me share where the other one went. And there is the third one. And I'm going to bring it and give it to my neighbor. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to give her this little turmeric plant. All right, guys, I'm with my neighbor. Say hello, B. Hello. <laughs> so I brought her one of my uh, turmeric. So I found two turmeric plants under there. So you got one. Okay. All I, right. I will take care I'll make of this, sure, baby. I'll make sure you. So when you get ready to replant her, just maybe next month replant her. Okay. Put her in a bigger pot and she'll be good. I'll put oh. her in the ground. That's what I want to put her in the ground. Yeah, put her yeah. in the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she'll she be happy under there. She'll be happy. Okay. Yeah, in that partial shake, you know, where you got all those things back there. Put under it towards the, you know, the shade. Line. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it, by the, put it on the other side of the lemon tree. She'll do good. Okay. She'll do good. Yeah. Okay. All right, honey. That's what I'm going to do. It is about, uh, maybe about 8.30 in the morning. And I'm over here just trying to <clears throat> get this little area. Um cool for the plants to be right <laughs> so i'm getting it together though yeah so i have these pots that i've just been allowing many of them to just you know get the weeds in them and so on and now it's time for me to get the weeds out <laughs> yeah but listen guys i hope you're having a beautiful beautiful saturday morning it is overcast and we are supposed to, you know, get some very bad weather. You know, yeah, bad thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, I'm just out here. I'm just trying to get this area where I want it to be so I can drop some seeds, y'all. Yeah. So, you know, you know, the bad thing about about what's been going on right now here in my area is that 
we've been having rain every day for about the last three weeks, you know, nothing but rain. So many of the seeds that I dropped in the in the uh, in in ground uh, uh, beds, uh, they may germinate. You know, many of them may germinate. Uh, many of them I will lose. Oh yeah, I will lose that too. Uh, the rain, the weather, uh, the flooding of of those little beds so you know this is why I am you know getting these uh, these raised beds all fixed up for uh, for next season that's not for this season that's for next season right but you know until then you know I'm just gonna work with what I got and, and, and I'm good with it but I do not want to drop any more seeds in ground this uh, fall until I, um, you know, until I get it all together because, you know, you're just playing with are you going to have the seeds or are they going to live? Yeah. So, and yeah, we're going to drop some seeds in here in this area. I got my containers and y'all I got to pull out these big bags of soil now that's the only thing yeah uh, I do have whoa 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 I don't know if you can see him uh, probably, yeah you see him he coming up this way uh, this thing I tell you what he looked like his body looks like a turtle. His body looks like a turtle. But that's showing up a bug, y'all. But I'm a... Oof. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy, you gotta go. Damn. Oh. I've been out here for maybe about... Uh, maybe an hour... And it feels like, uh, I feel like it's going to just at any minute, you know, this, all of this, this rain going to come down. But, I'm just trying to get it together, but, you know, it's still a beautiful morning. It really is. It feels good. It's not, it's not very, very hot. get some soil in um, the three of these containers and uh, but I want to place the containers here and bring the soil out here because yeah those bags are big y'all know y'all know and uh, just get them over here and I'm gonna mix them in the pot yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that and have it all done. So we'll see if the weather just cooperate. <laughs> just cooperate this morning. Yeah. Yeah. But I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning anyway. No matter what. You know, rain or shine. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Yeah, I spoke. I was on the phone for a while. But after that, even while on the phone, you know, I played in my makeup yesterday. It was always fun. Always fun. <laughs> uh, I did share with you all that I, I received some mail, right? Did I share that I had, I received mail from Turf Therapy in Quita. Yay. Here it is wanted to share with you all I got some mail from my handsome nephew Robert and that's turf therapy and his beautiful wife Quita yeah they sent me some seeds Ooh, shucky <laughs> shucky ducky 
<laughs> anyway, guys, let me share what they sent me, okay? This is the first one from Turf Therapy. And this is Turf Therapy. Hey, Quita. Hey, Quita. Thank you all. Look at that cabbage, y'all. Look at that thing. Now, it has the shape of that Wakefield cabbage that I grew last season. Yeah. This is amazing. I'm going to love it. He sent me this, a Chinese showo fruit. I've never grown that before, but you know, it's a radish, y'all. It's a radish. And I'm going to love it. This is my free gift. Oh, y'all know I love this. I love this. Look at that leek. I'm going to drop some of these. I'm going to drop some of these. Thank you. And let me see. This one, the Japanese giant red. Oh, boy. I'm going to drop these, y'all. Oh, this is the freebie. This is the freebie. Okay, okay. Free seed. Thank you for your order. Oh, boy. Look at that. That's the freebie. So, the leak is one that he ordered for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Look at that. And the one that just took my breath away, y'all. This took my breath away. And that is this one. The kale, dazzling blue. Oh boy! Ooh, isn't she lovely? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh man! Thank you all so much. Thank you all. And I'm gonna do these seeds well. I'm gonna do them well, y'all. Because I'm going to drop these babies. I'm going to drop them. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't wait to drop those seeds. Especially that that kale. That blue. Dazzling blue. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to be beautiful. Absolutely. They're going to be stunning. Stunning, I tell you. So, I'm waiting for that. But, um. But anyway, this plant right here, right there, that's lemongrass, y'all. That's lemongrass. She's a beast. She's really, really big. Yeah. I've been having her, I purchased her last year. Matter of fact, on the clearance rack over at uh, Lou's last season. And now look at her. And you see where she's sitting at? She's under the tree. She loves shade. This is where she has been since I brought her home. Well, when I purchase plants, especially the sick plants, I put them in an area of my garden where they don't be with anybody else, just for about seven days or so. Oh my, I see a big spider. <laughs> yeah. And um, just so if, you know, if this plant have any disease, uh, fungus or if it had any uh, any uh, bugs on it that they won't spread these bugs to other plants in the garden so that's what I do when I purchase uh, you know a 50 cents or a dollar uh, plant yeah I put in an in a incubation period But uh, I gotta get this spider, y'all. I think this is spider. He, he's big, wherever he is. Yeah, but um, and now look at her. She's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And uh, I think she's gorgeous. I think she's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. That is my morning. That is my morning. I see I have some bell peppers that is nice and red. That uh, is jaded little basket she had. And I'm going to harvest those and tell the way to speak it out. Yeah, I feel a little uh, uh, dry. 
drizzle. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna come back out and God do his thing. <laughs> the rain is about to come down. It's about to be crazy out here, y'all. This hair, sweet potato, I don't know where it's. Where is the beginning? I hope so. I see it right there. Hmm. You'll see. What's it look like? So, last night, I took my watermelon radish out of that container uh, that was getting filled with water. And I replanted them all in this barrel. I just kind of like, you know, till the carrots get over for a little bit, you know, just a little while. <laughs> but a lot of space in here was not being occupied. So the radish, those cool watermelon radish, I want one. I want to, I want to see it. I want to eat it. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, I put him here. I put him here with the carrots and this beautiful zucchini. This beautiful alika. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to watch her grow, y'all. Watch her grow. So this plant here, it's it's doing well. It it always have just done well. But this plant was given to me um, by a supporter here. Well, her name is Deborah Christmas. And she gave me this plant, I want to say two years ago. Maybe even it was three years ago. Yeah. But she sent me this plant. And as you can see, she's still alive. Hi, 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 hi still alive <laughs> yeah she's still alive she's still alive thanks Deborah mm. <laughs> I'm tired y'all yeah so this is what I brought over here so there's some black cow just some potty mix and some compost and I got a bag of uh, compost in here and a bag of compost in here. I'm just going to open it up, put it on in there. I took down some of these uh, Mexican sunflowers. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be all right, though. Mm -hmm. So now all I'm going to do is kind of mix this up, fill up this bucket. I'm going to fill up this one and that one right there. Oof, y'all, this is work here. <laughs> All right, let me get it together. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, here we go. All the bags are empty. Well, this cow manure, black cow, I have maybe one-fourth of the bag still in there, but all the compost bags are empty. And this is where they are. So here we are here, and here, and there. So I got a lot of perlite and azomite in here. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Girl got a, a two days, three days of exercise just filling these bad boys up. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so now... I'm gonna take a breather <laughs> and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to drop some seeds in them, y'all. I'm gonna drop some seeds. All right. Yeah, y'all, excuse my boots. I know they are filthy, but yeah, it's muddy. You know, we've been having rain for. <sighs> yeah, we've been having rain every day so everything is muddy you know so yeah but anyway i'll wash them 
But listen, guys, I wanted to share this with you also. These are my Egyptian spinach. Now, this is my first time growing Egyptian spinach. But I was talking to you all earlier. You know how something could just catch your eye? So what I said was I thought there was a spider on these plants. But check this out. It's, there's no spider. This is the way this plant grows. Look at this. So <clears throat> you have these points on them right at the at the end of it. You see that? On all of them is like that. If I could keep keep it still, yeah, you can see all of that. All of them have this. Uh, I never knew that about uh, Egyptian spinach. <laughs> they have this pointy bottom. Almost like, if you look at it, the leaf would be like a bug with tentacles. But there's no bug, it's leaf. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I've never seen that before on uh, any uh, vegetable growing like that. But that's cool. That is the Egyptian spinach. Woohoo! Here are my seeds that I received, and yes, I'm going to plant, um, I'm not going to plant this here, uh, yeah, I'm going to plant that, I'm not going to plant that here, I'm going to plant, ooh, isn't that awesome, so I'm going to plant these in the middle, um, probably with, with the, uh, with the ones that Turf sent, but these are going to go in this pot, y'all. Well, that would go like that. And I'll get another one. Let's get another green. Yeah. All right. So we yeah, have plant this Premier Carol with it. All right. Let me drop this thing. Mm -hmm. All right, everything is all planted, and everything is, well, it's going to get watered. It's beginning to rain right now, y'all. Egyptian spinach, and here, everything is going good. Yay! <laughs> all right, guys, you all have a great day so far. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> But anyway, guys, let me clean up a little bit before I make it in. You'll see what's going on with these green onions. So, this is a little pepper harvest I did. Uh, banana peppers, bell peppers, and fish peppers. Fish peppers. Hey, hey. So, I'm going to get all the seeds out of all of them. Then I'm going to chop them all up and put them in my freezer bag. So when it's time to cook, I just grab that bag, baby, and put them in there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my harvest. It's crazy. <laughs> now, how to get out these boots. 
Ah. <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. Look at the mud. Ah. Ah. Alright, y'all. That was a fight to get these things off. <laughs> but I got them off, wiped them down. They're not totally perfectly clean, but they are cool enough for me to put on again and go back out in the mud. All right, guys. Damn my boots. I love them. All right, guys. Later, y'all.